I mean, come on, Ronnie. If you heard this shit, I was there. I was in the courtroom. I heard the shit that was spouting. You should have heard it. I mean, it, it deserved to be in like a crime jam. It was so blown out of proportion. The defendant, one Mr. Lex Ellis, aggressively assaulted Mr. Smelly. I mean, aggressively assaulted her, but how about you could just change that around a bit, you know, get me off the hook here, or maybe even a lesser sentence. Let's just say you touched him with passion. That sounds a bit... What do you mean that sounds like sexual assault? Okay, okay fine. We'd be better off in that case with the aggravated assault, you're right. <sighs> okay, let's think, let's think here. Okay, right, let's get the story straight. I had a few drinks in me the night before. I, you know, I'd watched the Braveheart, you know. And, you know, a few drinks in me, brave heart, and him dissing Lapidus and saying he's not going to buy it and that fucking English accent. Something inside me just snapped, Ronnie. I mean, I don't even know what it was. I mean, I woke up the next day handcuffed to the bedpost. That was the highlight of the night. Yeah, she was a tranny. That was a joke. <laughs> Look, just get me off the hook here, okay? That's what I'm paying you for. Don't fuck me around. I'm already in enough fucking pain as it is. I fucked my wrist. I broke like two bones punching the guy. I was so hyped up on booze and adrenaline. I didn't feel it at the time, but fuck. Yes, I'm in fucking pain right now. That's why I'm swearing, because I'm in a cunt of a mood. Because I'm feeling cunty. You know what, Ronnie? I'm done here. I'm going to have a drink, lather myself up in body oil, body oil, spray some Kuvos, and watch Rocky IV while butt naked. Goodbye. Hey guys, it's Lex here with yet another assault chat. I mean, yet another review. <laughs> hey, I was, I was only kidding, of, of course. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> today's one is from the House of Diesel. I've mentioned before how much I, I really like the House of Diesel because they're really unique. They um, always have been. They go places that not other scents don't really go, even though if they're, even if they're for the young crowd, they always have their own vibe, which keeps them unique. And that's what I've always loved about it. Now. Uh, this one is Fuel for Life, the 50ml bottle, and Mark actually put me onto this with his rating system. I thought, that sounds really good, and uh, I like only the Brave, but I wanted something similar to that, that with good performance and stuff, that was a little bit more mature, a bit more oomph, something that smelled completely different, you know, that wasn't really... People wouldn't just go, oh, it's a nice, fresh scent. It was something with a bit more unique oomph to it, and that's why I thought he sort of sold me in this one. And I absolutely love this bottle design. So this is a 50ml bottle. This was released in 2007. I'm using for granted because the source here. So let's have a look at that lovely bottle here. So I'm going to adjust the camera. We have the Diesel Fuel for Life 50ml part. And it's got this lovely, almost like a, a, a canteen. Like a, imagine like the Civil War or something canteen. It's got this stitching around it. It looks really old school. It's something from the Wild West. It's really awesome. These sort of uh, pleather strips here, it's really nice and if you undo this, this can actually move. It's got a little zip and everything, I absolutely love this. And it's got Diesel Fuel for Life on the glass there, but that doesn't look anywhere near as nice as this here. I mean, it actually looks like something, it looks like fuel or something, like uh, Back to the Future or something you put in the DeLorean. So I'm going to zip this back up here. There we go. It's a little bit tight. It's got this image on the top there and I believe it says... The weird thing is it says only the brave on the cap here, which I find kind of strange and your information on the bottom. You need a fucking perfect eyesight to see that shit. But um, there we go. So let me readjust this here. So let's get ourselves started. Now, how is the sprayer on this one? I'm, oh, also I'd like to mention, uh, since we have, it has the modern diesel logo on the top of the sprayer, which I think is pretty cool. Which is pretty awesome. So, i adjust that back. Um, I normally would use the auto adjust, but it's shit. So anyway, the sprayer here. Really nice sprayer. Really good, I'd like to add. Really, really good sprayer with this one. So, let's talk about the smell. Before we get started, I'm going to do what I normally do, which I've started doing recently, actually. The notes. So, according to Frugantica, this only has six notes. The top notes are grapefruit and anise. I'm probably fucking that pronunciation up. Middle notes are lavender and raspberry. Base notes are woodsy notes and heliotrope. I hate it when they say that shit. Woodsy notes. Why can't you just be specific? Woodsy notes. Wow, it smells woodsy. Thanks for the detail. That's that's real fucking helpful, guys. Woodsy notes. Wow, that's then you know, that art and design degree is really paying off. That then that journalism degree you done at Harvard that's really fucking paying off, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, who can afford to go to Harvard these days, bastards? Um, <laughs> so yeah, smell wise, let's get started. I mean, it has this. I know some people has it, say it has a sort of petrol vibe. 
and it's got a lovely it's got a metallic it's like um may someone says raspberries dipped in petrol now i like that but it's got a sort of metallic vibe in there i see where the fuel thing's coming i mean fuel for life the name is <laughs> it works um I mean, they, they got the, the image and naming and everything. As far as marketing and stuff goes, this was top notch. They got everything right with this. Smell-wise, it's really nice. Um, it's got a sort of metallic -y raspberry almost. Metallic-y, petrol-y berries. Like, imagine Fahrenheit for the kiddies. You know, Fahrenheit for the teenagers. I mean, really, I, I mean, that probably sums this up. Fahrenheit for teenagers, it's really good. Um, I really love the smell of this. It's, it's got a young vibe, but it's also not too bad. It's not as if... I think it, it may... I think it can... It can maybe isn't as versatile as only the Brave could be. I'm not too sure. But I'll do my best to sort of explain it later on. It's kind of a... It's a really mysterious scent. That's sort of why I love it so damn much. And why I love most of the diesel range, if I'm quite honest. They have... However, let the ball go a little bit with the only the Brave range. I seem to be sort of pushing that and just sort of ignoring this a little bit. Um, I think they really need to get their head straight and find themselves back on the right track. Um, but they're a company, if the crap stuff is selling, it's go, we're going to be getting more of it. So, you know, if this is, this is a bit more in the sort of niche, you know what I mean? If you get where I'm coming from, you're not going to smell scent like this absolutely everywhere, especially in the teenage sort of vibe um, group. So... Yeah, but performance-wise, this is where I find this really weird. Now, many people agree this is a really strong scent. Now, I am not sure if it's olfactory fatigue or not. Or maybe that ISOE super thing. But with this one, I'm going to say on average, I get about 8 hours longevity, sometimes 10, about that. And this is where I've been wearing at college and stuff. I get that. Projection-wise, this is where I felt a bit finicky. Some people have asked, can you smell me? Some say yes, our times have said no. And it's sort of been like, you know, I'm talking like in class, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like, hmm, our best mates. And he also has this, and he has it, I think he has the, the um, I'm not sure if he has the spirit version, I think he has the original. And on him, I can smell it really strong. So I'm going to say this, I think this has pretty decent performance, but it may be olfactory fatigue. I'm not too sure. I don't want to give a false info. But a lot of people say it is pretty strong. And I did, my friend that wears it did, I did notice it in him quite often. I was kind of in close proximity because I was hanging out with a guy at lunch and stuff and sitting next to him in class. But um, I'd say it isn't too bad. It has good sillage, that's certainly for sure. I noticed it more on my friend, um, Ross. He's, I think he's actually done a review on this. He's done a review the ages ago. He got out the reviewing game. He's into gaming now. But he actually done fragrance reviews at one point. I think a few of you might have actually watched it because I, I mentioned on one of the videos and a few of you guys over and um, watched his video. Um, he was really nervous, <laughs> but he got through it. Can't complain. Um, but um, I thought the sillage and this is pretty good if I'm honest. The sillage is really, really nice. But if standing next to someone in the projection, um, you'll notice it more when you're walking by people. So not too bad, but um, for the smell alone, it is care worth buying. It's... Okay, I pick a mix. I highly recommend if you see this in a store to try it. But again, I don't know if it's been reformulated. Moving on, because I spend too much time on this, and I don't want this to run out a 17 minute review. So, how many squeeze this one? I'm going to recommend around five. Um, four to five, depends how it performs for you, right? But let's just see on an average here, five sprays adjust for weather, colder weather more, hotter weather less. So you shouldn't really be wearing this in warm weather, to be honest. But hey, if you do, I shake your hand, because that proves that you have no fucks. And I would buy you a pint. And I'm a, I'm a stingy bastard. So I really buy pints for anyone. So if I buy you a pint, yeah. That says it all. <laughs> God. Um, but yeah. So, uh, moving on here. Age group with this one. I'm going to recommend this one for ages 18 and up. And I could actually recommend this. This doesn't really have an end age. I don't really see anyone smelling old wearing this. Maybe a little bit. It is kind of fresh, but... If I smelt this in a 60 year old, I wouldn't really be like, oh, it doesn't suit him. I don't really think, even most fragrances, I don't think there's a there's an end group. I mean, unless you're wearing something really sporty like uh, Adidas or something, or Axe or something like that, I can get where you're coming from. But, you know, with um, this, I don't really see that being an issue. But um, 18 and up. My camera's been a bit gimpy and freezing up. That's weird. Sorry if that happens. Uh, I'm not sure. Sometimes it doesn't appear when I've finished a video and I'm rendering it. Other times it does. I don't know why the fuck it's doing it. My PC is pretty beastly. Um, I've got a fucking i7 inside this thing. This shit. I don't know why this is happening. But um, I'll find it out. It's probably Logitech shitty software. Because it seems to only happen with their crappy drivers. But anyway, moving on from Logicunt. Um, 
lodge of fuck, lodge of vagina, um, <laughs> to, uh, we've covered the age group, okay, season wise, where can you wear this one, can you wear this in spring, hell yeah, can you wear this in summer, no, can you wear this in autumn, yes, can you wear this in winter, yes, so every single season except summer, and if you do wear it in summer, well done, you have balls of steel, a big penis, and too much pubic hair for the average man to even comprehend. You know, people think you've got a disease. That's, you know, every single extra pubic hair you have is actually equal to the extra inches on your penis. In fact, shit, that would be actually quite unhealthy. Fuck, just re disregard that shit. Okay? <laughs> it's a fucking forest down there. Be proud, man. Forest gump. Okay, really bad pun. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> come on, I'm meeting this up in the fly. Give a brother a break. <laughs> so, but season wise, yeah, I think it's about really well in spring. Cold spring day and stuff, I think, with that sort of cold nippy, I think it's worked really well, especially with a slight breeze to carry this scent. Um, my personal experience, I've been wearing this, come back from college on a cold day, I well, in winter, and in cold weather, this really shines. I love this, in, in, pardon me, in winter, watery, wet Scotland, and this coming off my coat was awesome. Situation wise, where can you wear this one? Can you wear this to work? I'm going to say yes, but I would be careful with the sprays. Put on a couple of less sprays, maybe two or three tops, maybe a little more up to you um, and see if other people notice it, if people complain about it and stuff well, you shouldn't really be giving a fuck, you should be telling them to screw himself but realistically, if you're in a job and to keep that job requires you to basically brown nose and shit which is basically every fucking job that's half decent these days if you're lucky to get one that doesn't pay minimum wage <laughs> if you're lucky that is um, then you may have to change it Realistically, all joking aside, but I would definitely be careful and put on less sprays and see if, it's, if anyone complains if it's too strong or stuff, and then maybe up it and see because you don't want to you don't want to end up especially if it's your first day in the job, <laughs> you don't want to make it enemies. I don't mind it because I'm an asshole, but come on, my life's a mess. You don't want to follow my example, <laughs> so okay for work. For a date, I would say yes. For a sort of casual day, even even if you went to a nice restaurant and you had like a, a shirt on and some uh, some nice jeans and stuff, yeah, smart casual. I think it's what fine for a, a restaurant or anything. But on a date, I think this would be nice. Again, don't overdo it with the sprays. This is one of those scents where if you overspray it, it will start smelling synthetic and cheap and nasty. If you spray just a bit amount, it'll get nice whiffs of the raspberry and that petrol vibe, and it's, it's going to be really nice. It will get you fucking laid probably. No guarantee, it's all to do with your personality. If you're an asshole, well, it depends. It might be any bad boys, you know? Because some people find me being a jerk. Like, what was that thing? Like, um, every single woman I've been with has always found it attractive when I'm basically a dick. Like, I don't know what it is, but um, let's not even go there. Fuck that shit. Why am I even talking about this? Let's just not go there. Let's not talk about Lex's pathetic love life. You know, I love it when guys are dicks to me. Yes, yeah, slap me more. Call me a dirty whore. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's just calm down here. <laughs> Okay, inhale, exhale, fucking Mr. Smelly! <coughs> okay, god damn it. <sighs> well, fine. <laughs> Here we go. So, on a date, yeah. Clubbing. This is really good for a club. The only thing is, I wouldn't recommend it too much because it might get drowned out. If you're unlucky enough to find this isn't performing too well for you, well, skin chemistry, whatever, I wouldn't think it. But I personally think it's a great clubbing scent. Really good. Not that many people will be wearing this in the club, I'm telling you right now, this isn't that popular, believe it or not, um, so, you know, not that popular, so you'll still stand out, you won't be part of the 1 million Yope Lamal crowd, um, but if you are one of those guys, there's nothing wrong with smelling that, they're all good scents, but um, yeah, this is definitely a great scent for clubbing, moving on, casual wear, can you wear this with a tracksuit? Yes, I have done, but I'm a prick. And it was a really old school 80s at Adidas, I think you guys have seen it, it's the blue one with the, the, the black one with the blue stripes. Uh, Superstar 2 tracksuit, or is it Firebird 2 tracksuit, really really good tracksuit, if you can get one, I highly recommend picking it up, it's really really good, uh, it's got the whole run DMC thing going on, I did this logo on the back, I should start reviewing tracksuits, but it's, it's really good tracksuit anyway, uh, what the fuck am I talking about that for, let's move on, no one gives a fuck about the Adidas tracksuit, I fucking love Adidas, okay, there we go, <coughs> Superstars for life, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> fuck your gazelle, <coughs> Six series is overrated, um, 100 points if you get those references, by the way. <laughs> if you're a shoe buff. Um, shit, shoe buff? That's the worst fucking term. That was an actual tool. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, a shoe buff? What's he used to fix the. Oh, fuck, I can't believe I said that. A shoe buff? Fucking hell. Oh, god. Sorry for headphone users there, you know. With that. Ping. Anyway, let's move on now. Smart casual. Yeah, I think it's worked really well for a tracksuit with jeans, t shirt, stuff like that. Really well. Now, moving on. Formal wear. If you've got a wedding or something where you need to dress up, can you wear this 
and this with a suit with a smart eye tile. So this is really tough for me because in the dry down, I guess you could. I'm going to say it depends on you. It depends on the event. It depends what you're dressing up for. If it's like a super, super formal event, no. If it's a sort of smart casual, you need to sort of like, um, you could turn up wearing shirt, tie, trousers and a leather jacket or another coat over it. There's no need for a blazer, maybe. But it, it, See, it's, it's, got, it's got parts of it that could be considered good for formal and there's also got parts that wouldn't quite work. So it's kind of hard. I recommend sniffing it yourself and seeing for yourself if, if it would work for you. Um, I wouldn't. I think there are better options out there, especially for a wedding or something. But, you know, I mean, if this is the only scent you've got and you don't have you don't have the money or anything like that to buy another one, I guess no, you wouldn't be too bad with it, to be fair. But anyway, guys, that's my review of Fuel for Life by Diesel. 50 mils, a really good, unique scent from the house. And it represents a, um, a, a time in the company and fragrance industry in its own. We're going through vast different changes and trying out different things and going different directions. And I think we need to go back to that time. I think we need to go back to when they were experimenting and trying new things. I understand that they're kind of scared to do it now with sales. I understand this whole Brexit -like thing probably isn't going to help either. But um, it is a good reminder. If anything... A good piece of history to remember back when companies actually gave a fuck about the art of fragrance. Anyhow, enough of my ranting, lecturing history lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do apologise. I know it ran long again. Mm, I need to stop this shit. Um, remember my review used to be like 8 minutes long. Damn. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message. If you're lucky enough to not have a Google Plus account, you can contact me on Facebook. And as always, guys... Keep on smelling fly, because if you don't, you'll get what Mr. Smelly got. A fucking black eye. That rhymed. That rhymed. Come on, give me credit. That rhymed. Come on, give me credit. Give me credit. Come on. Come on.